Bonobos are humankind's closest living relatives. They share over 98% of our DNA. They're extremely intelligent. Bonobos can actually learn and use human language. And their society and their sexuality is, is very different than the other great apes. It's very important for our own understanding of ourselves to understand bonobos. Bonobos inhabit the last bastion of the Congo rainforest, which is the second largest rainforest on the planet, without which all life on Earth is in jeopardy. If we protect them and protect where they live, we also protect the second lung of the Earth. The main reason bushmeat hunting has become so rampant here in the bonobo habitat and elsewhere throughout all of Central Africa is because there is no means of livelihood. Everyone tells us, you know, if, if a child needs to go to school, if someone's sick and needs some aspirin, the only way the head of the household can provide for his family is to go and kill an animal. The people here said another national park won't work. A model where you draw a boundary and you throw the people out and try to protect, it's just not going to work. It's not working in many areas in Central Africa today. The better model is to have the people who share the habitat with bonobos to be actively engaged and involved and to benefit from working for conservation and sustainable development. For example, at Kokolo Puri, uh, which is our pilot and model, we've established a health clinic, which is one of the only health facilities in this entire region. We founded a technical college. We've started sustainable agriculture projects that are providing much better quality of food for the local people, as well as the opportunity to, to to sell their crops. In addition, we are also really working to involve women. We've trained people in couture and provided non-electric sewing machines so that women can support their families. And what we found is that with a little bit of investment, you can get a very big result. <laughs> 